Battle at the Beach 100, presented by E3 Spark Plugs, and Brian Burkhofer picks up the win here at $20,000 to go along with it. Second win on the season in 13 career series wins. This has got to be one of the big ones. He's won the Diamond Nationals. He's won in Knoxville. One of the best. Picks up 20 k here at Tri-City. Jay Martin rides with him. Brian Burkhofer, I'll tell you, I never have to worry if it's going to be a great winner's interview with you because you're an excitable kind of guy anyway. I am shocked that this thing could go so long without a caution. Are you surprised? Uh, probably was the best for me. I didn't have a whole lot, tra whole lot of traction there in the last 40 laps, and it's just a matter of, uh, you know, just don't, don't overcharge the core, don't slip, don't turn the wheel too far right, and it, it got pretty hairy there for me a while, and pretty much all, the last 40 laps, like I said, but... Uh, you know, I had some good. I had to kind of move some lap guys a little bit. I don't like to get in there and get into them, but I knew Scott was getting a little close. You know, I had a guy I kind of I could kind of see, and um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm so tensed up from not trying to wheel spin and slip. So I feel like I worked harder than just being wide open. But uh, I can't. Uh, I can't thank everybody enough. Uh, just you know, my family and friends and sponsors and stuff and the great fans. But uh, just let me let me do what I like to do. You're just down the river a little bit there in Muscatine. I know you got some local people here. You run your own schedule, but you've come in here twice this year and beat these guys who are some of the best in the business. That's got to feel really, really good for you. Uh, I mean, you know, Scott, Scott's, you know, for whatever it may be, he's one of the best of the best racer there is, you know, but some of the antics he has, that's his own deal. But, uh, well, there's a great field of cars there. I feel like, you know, we had a good car on the World of Outlaws show last Wednesday night, and we come up here and win this one, so... I mean, I, everything is good right now. You know, it's a, it's a roller coaster, and we're hopefully chugging up a hill yet, but we'll see what happens. Well, now it's time for that Muscatine, Iowa party, but remember, we got a race here shortly tomorrow night, so oh. take it easy, okay? Oh, yeah, I'll be ready for tomorrow night. <laughs> Brian Burkhofer, congratulations. Thank good you. run, man. Thank you. Making reference, of course, to the Diamond Nationals. That will happen tomorrow night. Let's get it back down to Kelly, who's with our new points leader. Well, Scott, lap traffic seemed to be the biggest issue out there for a lot of the drivers. You especially just couldn't seem to get up there and make that fair pass on Brian Burkhofer. How frustrating was that? You know, we tried about everything. You know, we went to the top and uh, we moved around and just couldn't really couldn't really get going good. You know, he, he ran a little bit. I think the only tire different on his car. There was about four or five guys that ran a hard right rear tire, and uh, you know it seemed like he fired off pretty good. Brian Shirley did, and he he fired off. But I you know I felt like our car was really good, and uh, you know we just give it all we had. That's all we can do. Well, guys, Scott Bloomquist has three in a row coming into tonight, ending that winning streak for him, but hopefully he'll take over that points championship after this second place finish. So, an effort for him, and there's a look at James Essex, longtime series announcer who does such a great job. Your A3 Spark Plugs point standing. Scott Blomquist is back on top. Then Jimmy Owens and Don O'Neill. The battle continues this season. Let's go back down the day. Who's went third? Billy Moyer, our third place finisher. You know, you had a good run and really moved up to there. You need a little better starting spot, didn't you? Yeah, it would have helped a lot. We uh, we had a pretty good hot ride. The, uh, the guy just told me there that was watching the transponder said there we had a lot of laps that was the fastest. You know, I didn't know that, but it... Uh, that don't matter. We didn't win the race, but, uh, you know, we had a good car. Just like you said, we just uh, didn't run very good at all yesterday. Um, you know, that track condition we had, just, uh, you know, we need to definitely get better with my car with that kind of track we had. And then, you know, tonight it was it was a lot of fun. It was like ice out there. It had a little few little spots with some grip in it. And, uh, you know, we just we uh, come up through there, but I'd, I'd like to see a couple of yellows. You know, when you start that far back, you for sure want a couple of yellows. You know, with the guys, uh, you know, like Berkey and them starting on the front row for sure, but uh, to get, you know, to be able to catch them. But, you know, we, we did what we could do, so we'll take home, uh, take third and uh, try to get a little better. Brian Burkhofer waves to the crowd, and that's what he was looking for. Nice big check, 20 grand. Not a bad hit. Not a bad hit at all. Two wins so far this year. And I think if you've got Bloomquist and you're on a streak, you don't want Brian Burkhofer to show up to the racetrack. And once again, we'll get it back down to David Kelly for our Rockstar Race Recap. Thanks, Ken. Everybody loading up their gear back here in the pit area. we got a race in just a few hours at Wheaton, Missouri, so these guys got to get on the road. This racetrack, Kelly, stayed a little bit more slippery than I thought. I thought it would widen out a little bit, but indeed, Brian Burkhofer was the man who figured out how to make it work on a very slick racetrack. And a very one-line racetrack, Brian stayed on that bottom line the entire time, and a lot of the cars had a hard time passing because it was so one-line. Scott Bloomquist, in particular, could not get past 
those lap drivers. But what he did do was regain that points championship here in 2011. And trust me, guys, that is exactly where he wants to stay for the rest of the season. Well, telling that seesaw battle will continue. How about a nice shout out to some of the local boys putting on a good show tonight? Brian Shirley finished in fourth, Randy 49th, and Chris Simpson from nearby Iowa in the 12th spot playing with the Liberty Bowl Series tonight. As anticipated, a great show for the fans. This telecast has been produced by Lucas Oil Studios in association with Chris Steve. Stop number 20 is in the book. The season will continue on. The next stop, the Diamond Nationals. Thanks for watching the Lucas Oil Lake Model Dirt Series.